Greetings, fellow ARC players, and welcome back to another episode of the Dino Archives. I'm Havoc with the HGC YouTube Gaming Channel, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Brontosaurus. We're going to go over the spawn maps, what they're good for, how to tame them, how to breed them, uh, and then at the end, we're going to judge it on a scale from 1 to 10, based on its overall usefulness compared to all the other dinos in ARC. Now, there's a lot to talk about with the Brontosaurus, so I did my best to condense as much information in a small amount of time as possible. So if I glanced over anything, or if you have any questions at the end of the video, please put it in the comment section, and I'll be sure to address it. Um, also, you'll find timestamps in the comment section, so you can just jump to whatever section you want. So, I hope you enjoy the video, and thank you so much for watching. The Brontosaurus can be found on three out of the five available ARC maps, the island, the center, and Ragnarok. They're easy to spot due to their massive size, but they can often be mistaken for the Diplodocus, which looks fairly similar to the Bronto, especially from a distance. Okay, so where do we begin? Let's start with the Bronto's ability to utilize a platform saddle. A primitive platform saddle can be unlocked at level 82 and can be built at the smithy for 45 cementing paste, 325 fiber, 550 hide, 90 metal ingots, and 125 silica pearls. The platform extension can be built in your inventory for 45 cementing paste, 90 metal ingots, and 125 silica pearls. By default, the Bronto can handle 63 structures on its platform saddle. The maximum amount of structures can be increased in the game user settings under Platform Max Structure Multiplier. There are a few exceptions for what can typically be built on the platform saddle. This includes pipes, auto turrets, crop plots with plant species X, behemoth gateways, vaults, and industrial forages. Again, this can be changed as well by enabling Override Structure Platform Prevention in the game user settings. For the sake of keeping things vanilla, I outfitted my three Brontos in a legit manner. You can use ranged, tame dinos on the platform saddle to act as turrets. As you can see, I am personally using two Calicotherium on the front of my lead Bronto. They work pretty well, but they can be knocked off easily by enemy Brontos. Some other ranged creatures you can use are the Arthropleura, Thorny Dragon, Aranio, Dilophosaurus, and Wyverns. You can essentially make a mobile Bronto base like I've done here by outfitting multiple Brontos, each with their own purpose. It's fun to get creative with this, and I'm sure you could probably think of a better way to outfit the Brontos for your own purposes, but I have one Bronto that acts as a sheltered base, another that acts as a Wyvern landing pad and dino transport, and the third I outfitted as a mobile taming pen. One thing to note is that dinos like the Argentavis and Castroids work better than a smithy on the Bronto platform since the weight reduction buffs on both the Castroids and Argentavis lighten the load on the Bronto, which a smithy would weigh down your Bronto much more quickly. Another use of the Bronto is for collecting berries. They are the ultimate berry collectors, so you would probably start berry harvesting with the Triceratops, then you'd probably upgrade to a Stegosaurus, and then eventually end up with a Brontosaurus, if you don't have a smooth working farm by then, anyway. They're also very good at collecting thatch from trees, and they're okay at collecting wood as well. The Brontosaurus is not great at combat, but its knockback and area of attack can make up for its lack of damage output. It also does stomp damage to any smaller creatures near the Brontos' feet. The ability to build auto turrets in Plant Species X used to be the way to go, but now it's been nerfed by the developers on vanilla servers. Again, you can change that in your game user settings if you're playing solo or on a private server. The Brontosaurus is massive, and it will take a lot of Trank darts or arrows to knock down, so be sure to bring a bunch. You may also want to bring multiple crossbows or long neck rifles in case yours breaks before the job is done. Once the Bronto is knocked out, you'll want to set up a barricade around it to prevent it from taking damage during the taming process. I like to use metal spikes, but you can use wood spikes if you don't have access to a lot of metal. Just be aware that some of the larger dinos can break through the wooden spikes 
and compromise the Bronto's taming effectiveness. The Bronto won't wake up quickly, but make sure to have narcotics pre-made just in case. This will take a long time. Its favorite food is carbonimus kibble, which can be made in the cooking pot or industrial cooker for three fiber, two measure berries, one prime meat jerky, one rock carrot, one turtle egg, and one water. If you don't have access to carbonimus eggs, its next favorite foods are vegetables, then measure berries, and then any other type of berry except for narco and stem berries. Once the Bronto is tamed, you will need a saddle to ride it. The standard saddle can be unlocked at level 63 and it can be made in the smithy for 185 fiber, 350 hide, and 40 metal ingots. To breed the Brontosaurus, simply put a male and female into an enclosed space and enable them to wander in their radial menus. It won't take long before the female lays a fertilized egg, which you will then need to incubate before it can hatch. The fertilized egg will start losing health until the environment is the right temperature. But don't worry, the health of the egg does not affect the outcome of the offspring in any way. You can also store the fertilized egg in a refrigerator or preserving bin until you're ready to incubate it. When you're ready, look at the egg's HUD and see what conditions are required for it to incubate. It will either say too hot or too cold. If you can, use air conditioners for incubating the egg. It will regulate the temp of the fertilized egg no matter what. If you don't yet have access to air conditioners, you can use torches and campfires to increase the temperature of the egg, but there's not too much you can do to decrease the temperature of an egg. Anyway, once you get the temperature right, the HUD will say incubating and you will see the incubation bar start to drop. Once the incubation bar reaches zero, you will see a baby Bronto emerge from the egg. Go up to the baby and imprint on it and name it. Then make sure to put berries or vegetables into its inventory so it can eat. If you fail to put food in its inventory, it will starve and die fairly quickly, so don't forget. You will also want to make sure to disable wandering in its radial menu so it doesn't wander too far off. Look at the baby's HUD and see how much time is left until it wants care. When that timer reaches zero, you will have another chance to imprint on it and increase its base stats. So you may want to set an alarm on your phone. Best case scenario, it will either want to cuddle or go for a walk. Worst case scenario, it will want a type of kibble that you don't have. If you can't provide it with the kibble that it's asking for, you will no longer get to imprint and increase its stats. If you do have the type of kibble that it wants, put it in the zero slot of your tool belt and feed it to the baby. After successfully imprinting on the baby, make sure to look at its HUD and set another alarm for the next time it wants care. Rinse and repeat until the baby is fully mature or imprinting reaches 100%. The Brontosaurus gets a 6 out of 10 on the overall usefulness scale. I would rate the Bronto an 8 or 9 if it could still carry auto turrets and plant species X on official servers, but since that's not the case I have to give it a 6. They can still be useful for harvesting berries, thatch, and wood, and it's still fun to outfit the Brontos with platform saddles for a variety of uses. They have a lot of health, can carry a lot of weight, and they're not too terrible at defending themselves with their massive tails, although I wouldn't let a wild Gigantosaurus near it. All of that being said, they're slow and cumbersome, and again, they can't be outfitted with the very things that made them awesome to begin with, the auto turrets and plant species X. Well, at least not on official servers. So, do you think 6 out of 10 is a fair overall usefulness rating for the Brontosaurus? Please share your opinion in the comments section, and I hope you'll check out the next Dino Archive, where we will be talking about the Carbonimus.